The camera put 50 pounds on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk <laughs> ain't working out on TV. Hey, welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. I'm Lisa. Hey, and today is International Stress Awareness Day. We got stress. We do. CNAs have stress. Mm -hmm. CNA work is stressful. It is, but it's rewarding at Very the same time. Very rewarding, yes. It is. So we have some ways um, that we'll be able to help you. Um, by one, you could do meditation. Meditation. Okay. It'll clean your mind. And I've actually tried that yes. a few times, and yes. it helps. Yes. It does. I always um, tell people I'm going to meditate, and then I go take a nap. If they tell, if you tell people you're going to go take a nap, they're like, oh, look at that lazy bum. But if you tell people you're going to meditate, they're like, oh, look at her taking care of herself, going to meditate. That's my meditation. Meditation. <sighs> taking a nap. I've actually used this a couple times um, when I first started getting my uh, treatments for leukemia. Uh -huh. And... They, the nurse would come in and she's, you know, they're like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, yes, I'm fine. And she's like, are you upset? And I said, you're interrupting my steak dinner <laughs> because my IV bag, you know, because oh, I couldn't yes. eat anything. So I'm like meditating, you know, that's About my steak bag. Yes. That's my mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. I know that sounds funny, but, you know, when you're sitting there and you're getting poked left and right, you know, if you meditate and you think that, you're somewhere else or you're enjoying something that mm -hmm. you that you like mm -hmm. I mean it does help so that that's a good one to do mm -hmm. and then breathing exercises um, exercises can help you with a beating heart you know your heart is just pounding um, just take a deep breath um, this can also fight anxiety mm -hmm. I could see that oxygenate mm -hmm. your body real well and, and then exercising Yes. Um, it improves the brain resistance to stress. Mm -hmm. But if I would go out and start doing exercises, I think I would be more stressed. My brain would be telling me, what are you doing? Well, I'd be <laughs> out of breath in 90 seconds. So, yes. And then gardening. Mm -hmm. I love to garden. 30 minutes can improve your mood. Um, it can lower your levels of cortisol levels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And then out in nature, um, outdoors, it helps with high blood pressure and it fights depression. And I like this one because I spend um, a lot of time outdoors. I spend a lot of time outdoors in the summertime and the fall. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then herb uh, remedies. Herb remedies. Her herbal herbal remedies. Herbal remedies. I have yes. A, there I have is. an herbal remedy for stress. <laughs> We'll talk about it after the segment. <laughs> You're going to need it after you get done with <laughs> um, Certain teas can help um, with your sleep. It can um, cut stress. Lavender is also a good one for this. And I mm -hmm. notice um, a lot of the baby products now have the lavender yes. scents yes. And, and stuff. Essential yeah. oils are very effective in stress yeah. reduction. Um, yes. A lot of our hospice... Um, companies and stuff are actually starting to use that a little bit. Mm -hmm. I smell a lot of, um, there's a certain tree, it's a leaf. It's, um, oh, I can't think of her. It's lupit, luperless. I'm probably hmm. pronouncing it wrong, so you're going to need that therapy again. Um, it's it's like the what the koala bears Eucalyptus. live in. Yes, Eucalyptus. they use a lot of that. Oh, okay. And then some other ways is um, you can silence your cell phone. Mm -hmm. um, dim the lights. Just take a few minutes for yourself. And, you, and it's okay to do this. Right. And, you know, you mentioned silencing your cell phone. I think that electronics and technology has mm -hmm. really helped us a lot but they've also escalated our stress mm -hmm. level because I know when I'm just a little bit flustered and then my cell phone starts pinging mm -hmm. and we all think that we have to answer every phone call. If we don't, we have to call people back immediately. Mm -hmm. We didn't have 24 hour access to no. people, no. you know, 30 years mm -hmm. ago. And so remember the old telephones where you'd actually have to go pick it up and stretch the cord yeah. halfway across the house? And then you'd have house? to put your finger yeah. in there and wind yeah. it up? Well, I mm -hmm. mean, now with cell phones, it's 
we're always on we're always accessible and it it does right. it stresses me out especially if i'm laying in bed and i hear my phone vibrate or i hear you want to go my pick phone. it up yeah it's i i get that yes Silence and then that. less um too much clutter downsizing and then organizing can help reduce stress mm -hmm. um try to donate some of your items or even recycle i I can probably be called a hoarder with everything that I have. It's like I don't want to get rid of anything. It's not because I have a, a fear of like needing it someday. I think I just hold on to a lot of, I still have papers that my children have done in kindergarten. Well, now I have those. You know, I have those. Stacks. Yeah. And stacks. I, I don't like to get rid of anything because as soon as I get rid of something, I need it. Yeah. But I mean, mementos and things like that, I have plastic tubs of first grade artwork and all kinds of stuff and those like things are through. important mm -hmm. to me you know i do enjoy mm -hmm. looking at those things from time to time they do. but but yes downsizing and getting rid of clutter and we actually did this um, before matt's wedding because we were going to be having a lot of company and i made a trip to the homeless shelter <laughs> to donate a bunch of stuff and recycling and yeah that's great yeah that's great so just remember to take care of um, your health. And then we have a few shout outs um, we like to do. Um, Matt's birthday was yesterday, November the 5th. Mm -hmm. um, he turned 28, so we wanna wish him a happy belated birthday. And then I have two shout outs that I'd like to give as well. And that's to Brayden, uh, one of my grandson, my only grandson right Aww. now. I would love to have more, but I'm happy with him. <laughs> he is nine today, and he is actually one of our biggest fans, I think. He's a super fan, yes. He is. Um, I get a lot of support from him. Um, he'll say, tell me what you're going to do on the show. And um, a lot of my ideals actually come from him. He can come up with some that are off the wall, but he helps me. And then, so happy birthday, Brayden. And then the second one um, is my sister. She, I'm going to go ahead and tell your age. You're going to be 52 today. She'll probably kill you <laughs> later for that. It's but. all right. And she's also a big supporter of the show too. So um, happy birthday to all three of you. I hope all your birthday wishes um, come true. Absolutely. And remember, um, Matt, you're important to us and Heidi and Brandon as well. So remember, you, you matter. matter.